Hi Louise, it's Marcy here recording your video for you. I'm going to keep this brief as possible, but what I'm going to do is explain three things that you guys can do today to really bring value to your company and start out ranking your competitors online. So the three things that I'm going to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. Now to begin with, with the content, what I mean by content is, you know, the words, the information that you're giving on your on your home page. When, when a site hits the internet, Google's going to go out there and it's going to find it and it's going to crawl it. And what it's looking for is it's looking for keywords. It's looking for what it is that your business offers and then it can match it up. It's always wanting, wanting to give the most relevant results because of course Google makes money when people are on their search engine so they don't want them to leave. Um, so this being your homepage, uh, you can see if I was to add this up, but I mean under 50 words so definitely room for room for improvement there uh, Google likes to see anywhere from um, 100 to 50 or 1000 to 1500 words of content that way you know when they go out and crawl and they see this guy's got wow look at all this content he's got on there and you know it's keyword rich content so you know gone a, a in and and done the done you know the, the research of what it is what words you want what words people are searching for to fit what it is that you offer and you build your content around that so you know they see somebody with 1500 words they're going to see that business as the expert and they're going to rank them um, above the others so that's something that can and you could definitely do that's going to help with your rankings I noticed up here so that I don't forget when I go on to the next that your site is isn't secure uh, they are giving preference nowadays to sites that are secure, so it would be a good idea to, to um, get whoever you've got handling that to secure that up for you. Sometimes I've noticed even uh, lately where you'll click on click on the on the URL and it'll just be the white page coming up going, you know, basically, and it's not dangerous, but for somebody that doesn't understand what the internet's doing, it's like danger, danger, and it has a button back to safety. <laughs> so, you know, you don't want that happening. And being that you don't probably check your website every day, it, it could all of a sudden happen and you're not going to know it. Um, so getting that secured up would be good. And then I'm going to go off to um, backlinks. First of all, the search here. The search term that I used when I found you today was, was furnace repair. And Google, they always lay out their same their for their front page the same way. They're going to have paid ads, the people that aren't ranking on the first page, so they're paying to be seen on the first page or up at the top. And then here you've got your Google My Business listing. Um, these three spots are 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 definitely um, prime real estate on that first page. And then down here we call this section the organic rankings. Um, so these sites are predominantly the ones that are showing up at the top here and showing up on the first page. A lot of the power behind that is, is the backlinks. So what a backlink is, is it's when other sites on the internet link back to your website. Think of the internet as a, as a popularity contest. So when Google goes out there and crawls and it sees, wow, look at this site, he's got all these websites, all these different websites are linking back to his, so you know, he must be popular, let's push him up to the top. Um, that's kind of how that works. So I took that first one for this key, you know, term. You can rank yourself for many, many, um, many, many search terms. But I used that this guy because he's number one for that term. Put him into the tool. It shows me that he has 71 referring domains, so 71 other websites on the internet linking back to his, giving him 230 um, backlinks. He's being found for about 500 words. Now I put yours in here. I haven't taken a look yet. It was still spinning. Okay, so you've got eight uh, other websites on the internet referring back to yours, and uh, and it's and it's giving you 17 backlinks. So you can see a little bit more powerful. Um, let's see what kind of stuff you're being found for too. See, definitely, if you were to type in your own business name, then you're going to come straight up for that. That's how that works. Um, Heartland Dump Road. Well, that's not what you want to be found for. So you can see where the heating Victoria, BC, 22. So that's putting you probably bottom of second page, maybe more like third page. Um, so this is what I mean about, you know, you go in, you do the research, and if you wanted to, to show up more visibly, online these are the things that you can do is just dial into your content um, strengthen the backlinks get a few backlinks and uh, and then the third thing that I'm going to discuss is around 
your map listing citations. What a citation is, is it's a place on the internet where you're going to find your exact business name, address, and phone number cited. Um, so this listing itself is, is a citation. So the more places, definitely having your having your uh, listing optimized is, is going to help, right? Um, I noticed here with with the reviews going on, the only really thing is you can't get them get them removed. The only thing you can really do about that because good reviews, a lot of reviews, they you know a lot of people are after the reviews these days. So Google in their map listing um, sees that as important. Um, you know, just being optimized again. You can you can get your keywords into here. There's different tips and tricks that we can do. But when you get a get a few that I didn't read them or anything, but the only thing you can really do is bury them right you know put get a whole bunch of good ones on top of it and then those are not so relevant but when you only have a few it kind of stands out and makes it look that way um, there are reputation uh, management uh, opportunities where it makes it really simple because sometimes it's difficult and I would imagine you guys it looks like you do a lot of commercial stuff so you're not necessarily talking with them or being able to just say hey can I get a review but um, if you gather their uh, email this system makes it really effortless so you can just shoot out after the job's done shoot out an email they're already sitting at their computer or on their phone and you know they're doing that kind of stuff and it'll come through and just say hey would you mind you know um, leaving us a review today it helps us out and then all they're going to do is click from there so you know it's not like they have to go do something they're already sitting at a computer and it prompts them right right to your listing like literally just start typing or just start pushing stars now if for whatever reason you had somebody that wanted to um, leave a lower type star then uh, the system is set up so that that is not going to be sent right here to, to Google for them to write it on the internet it's going to give them a place to say whatever it is that they need to say but it's going to come directly back to you so you have the opportunity um, to talk to them about it or, or you know best case it's it's saving um, saving it from hitting the internet where you can't remove it so I am just gonna leave it at that I don't want to overwhelm you with the information here Louise I will follow up I want to make sure that you did receive the video and I'd love to hear your feedback thanks bye bye